I suppose all that's left is to try and remember this moment. Proper store is supposed to start at the beginning. Ain't so simple with this one. Now here's a kid whose whole world got all twisted, leaving him stranded on a rock in the sky. He gets up, sets off for the bastion, where everyone agreed to go in case of trouble. Ground forms up under his feet as it pointing the way. He don't stop to wonder why. Finds his lifelong friend just lying in the road. Well, it's a touching reunion. He sees what's left of the rippling walls. Years of work undone in an instant. In the calamity, that a survivor. No, ma'am. It's a gas fellow, forced out from underground. Kid pops him good. Sometimes you just need a drink. Gotta hold her still to spin up the chamber. A school of squirts tunnels up around them. He sets foot inside one of Salandia's famous watering holes. Inside's old Rondi, the bartender. The calamity got him for his drinking den. Then Kid finds his trusty shield. The security takes him for a petty thief. Special delivery. Gas fellas. Windbags start turning up for last call. More squirts start coming out of the woodwork. A big old fella pops out in front of the kid. Then windbags are playing for keeps. He gets a good look at things on his way down. He lands on top of a breaker's bow, and it ain't broke. Good news is the emergency defenses still work. Bad news is they're aiming for the kid. Right back at you, he finds the distillery, right next to the arsenal. Tough part of town. One sip of the spirits in that distillery, and the kid'll feel like a new man. The arsenal's where the kid can pick the best tools for the job. An old ferry barge sends the kid on his way. The bastion's real close now. Now the kid sees something stranger still. His mind races. Did anybody else survive? Sure enough, he finds another. He finds me. There's a bit of the Bastion's power in that crest. Enough to point the way to the cores. All I tell him is to set that core is on the monument there. And watch. And just like that, the Bastion comes alive. Starts growing again. Growing stronger. The Bastion ain't gonna build itself. Well, not entirely. Now the Bastion can send him even farther into the wild unknown. Now he lands at the intersection between bad and wrong. Ought to be a core down one of these twisted streets. But which one? And there it is. But it's locked down tight in an alloy cage. A blustery old foreman's keeping his fellows in check. And now there's a new marshal in town. He hears the whole place grown, but it's too tough to fall. Hmm. He comes back, just like I knew he would. The core hums in his pack. The monument's calling for it. The old world's finished, but the new world's just getting started. The cores, they remember. That's why this place is coming together. That's why things are gonna be all right. Kid ponders what to build. Kid don't know what's out there waiting for him.
The dead welcome him with open arms. The calamity took everybody after all. Kid sees it plain, frozen faces all around. These folks never saw the calamity coming, but someone did. Someone close. It was someone like him. It's a snag or two trying to get to him. He ain't about to stop. No matter what, he's got so many questions after all. The Tundra Brothers didn't make it. Nor did the Bird Boy didn't make it. But him, he survived. Just think, without that man, we wouldn't be here right now, would we? What do you say to a man who's seen too much? Kid hasn't a clue, but he says this. He's a proper gentleman, that man. His name is Zolf. No hiding, he's an Ura. Folks like him ain't never been a common sight in Ceylandia. He's relieved to see a living face or two. The kid and I introduce ourselves in kind. Both to him and to each other for the first time. Zolf's travels ain't much compared to what the kids had to go through for all this. Kid's surprised when I tell him there's only one core left. I shouldn't have believed it either. There's only one way to sit in brick fort. The hard way. Sure, the city marshals may be gone, but now the fort's crawling with windbags. The calamity was mercy. Force. Well, windbags, young and old, keep fighting for the fort. Windbags ain't much different from normal folks. All they want's a warm place to stay to do some deal. Cinderbrick gave them enough heat and metal to munch on for a while, but the fort ain't theirs by right. Security's plane gone haywire. The bags gummed up the works. They trapped the kid in the middle of the fort's parade ground. And now ain't nothing left for nobody down at Cinderbrook Fort. Once I thought twice. Kid shows up just as Zolf's telling me about his own journey to the city. Seems the only thing the calamity saved for Zolf was his Zolf banged up the monument pretty bad. That's it. A few more shards like that. We'll be back in business, but there's a way to put it back together. The shards. Ankle gators used to roam the wilds, and they nested at Rothus Lagoon. Many a tale folks used to scare their children straight originated here. They used to think that ankle gators were extinct. They ain't. Turns out Queen Anne got a hold of a shard. Ankle Gators love shiny things. The brushers use their pikes to keep their distance around here. Now the kid can do the same. Queenie leads the kid into some kind of twisted trap. The closer you get to an Ankle Gator's lair, the thicker the tall grass grows. One bad step in that tall grass and he's Queen Anne's lunch. Wanna know how to find an Ankle Gator lair if you use a kid as bait? Now she's coming for him. She's got nowhere else to go. The shards sit in plain view. They say if you run across an ankle gator, you better keep running. After all that, kid lets the ankle. Hope Queen Anne don't mind us borrowing from her treasury. All that trouble for a single shard. But you know what? It was worth it. It ain't too late to unlock the potential of this place. Ain't saying much, 
But that's the greatest forge in all the city. High time we built something new. Not everything blew up in the Calamity. Why Colford Cauldron here blew up way ahead of its time. The cauldron boiled over some 300 years ago. They say it filled the skies with ash and the lakes with molten rock. As for us, we learned an awful lot from Colford Cauldron. Sure, we dusted off a good many secrets out here, but we discovered other things we're better off not knowing. All sorts of awful things crawling underfoot. Places inhospitable as they come. After all, when we look down inside Colford Cauldron, we saw in there the heart of the world. The heart now laid bare by the calamity. As for the kid, he just has to get that shard out of there. Too bad taking that thing woke up every last stink eye from here to Jowson Bog. Pops open on him like a pimple on a school day. Biggest stink eye he's ever seen is waiting for him on the other side. And where there's one stink eye, there's always more. The cauldron's tenants all gather up to bid the kid a fond farewell. With a good spyglass, he can... Yeah, that's tough, because my first... He time. comes back looking like the inside of a chimney. My PB's for the first time. The shard works like a charm. You can hear the monument's heartbeat again. The monument's getting better. Zolf sure did a number on it, though. We need an awful big lost and found under the circumstances. First things first, what do we build next? Imagine everything you need to build a city like Ceylandia. It takes hard work and planning, and it also takes burstone quarry. The quarry came with a lifetime supply of wind bags. Not only are these rocks a source of life, they're recording everything all the time, taking it all in. We found that the oldest ones remember things. Now why would the earth sell off such a fascinating place? Might be the gods told them the quarry's bad news. Those rocks all polished to a mirror sheen. The largest ones, you know as cores. Remember how I said rattle tails ain't the worst thing in the quarry? We never could get stubborn old Lunky to leave the quarry alone. That honor goes to a beast we took to Colin. Sir Lunky. Massive things stomp many of our boys. We just couldn't get rid of him. Then the kid hears a voice calling from down the hall. Are you all right? It says. Kid hears him, but he ain't about to be deterred. If that's the way it is, he says, then I won't stop you. Because my countrymen will. Hope I got the dupe. Say what you will about Zolf, but he's a man of his word. His countrymen don't much care for pleasantries, though. The Vera think they got him. They're wrong. No way out of this. Not without a fight. So showed him the way here. The shards can put this disease in remission, but there's only one cure. We need to finish what we started. The Bastion, it's finally finished. Now, there's something I want you to see. Welcome to the heart of the Bastion. I ain't one for long goodbyes, so here's the deal. Zia and I figure you've done the heavy lifting, so you get to do the honors. We can tell you how to work this thing if you got any questions. Hey, kid.
It's finished. Now, sit tight. It'll be over soon. No matter what happens next, you done good. I suppose all that's left is to try and remember this moment. The Bastion's gonna take us back to a better time before any of this. My people forget everything you've done and each other. Though after all we've been through, I find that hard to believe. So long, kid. Maybe I'll see it in the next one. Ceylandia, we're coming home.